Believe it or not, video gaming consoles are banned in China. They have been since 2000. That's because the Chinese regime says video games would harm the nation's youth. But as recently reported by the UK's Telegraph newspaper, Communist Party authorities are now actively promoting online games to propagate communist ideology. China has an estimated 120 million online gamers. The Nanjing military region and Wuxi-based giant network technology have jointly developed a military online game. It's called Glorious Mission. It was first put into service in the People's Liberation Army in 2011. Then, in the second half of 2012, a civilian version was launched. Currently, the military upgraded and civilian versions are both on sale in stores and also on the internet. It's been one example of a huge multi-million dollar effort to indoctrinate young gamers. The regime knows it's impossible to eliminate online games in China, so it's making use of these games to spread its ideology. In essence, the CCP regime is a theocracy, controlling the nation economically, culturally, and psychologically. On January 20th, the Telegraph reported that Glorious Mission was the product of seven propaganda officials and overseen by the Chinese army. The game's purpose is to, quote, instill the core values of the military in its players as they carry out a series of combat missions. Dubbed Red Games, many of these video games are set during the war with Japan in the period 1937 to 1945. Others update these themes for modern scenarios. These include online games such as Resistance War and Safeguarding the Diaoyu Islands, developed by Shenzhen ZQ Game Technology. That company told media that the communist regime's central authorities had given it a lot of support. According to The Telegraph, ZQ Game receives grants and tax breaks from the government. It's also partly owned by the Communist Youth League, a branch of the Communist Party.